Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting point that around uh, who's it who's it for. I guess it's it's for uh, the shopper and the consumer, and it's for the for the manufacturer, and it's for the retailer, isn't it? It's for everyone, isn't it? Really, if you can, uh, like you say, if you can make sure yeah, that that journey is congruent for everyone, then yeah, everyone's I mean that's the thing. It's, it's it's a cliche, isn't it? That that win win. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know, I've seen no end of charts with um venn diagrams of the consumer in the middle and there's a win-win and you know i've seen a double win triple win there's quadruple wins i've seen versions but it's cliche but it is absolutely true so fundamentally you understand why it's being consumed giving even better um consumption occasion to the consumer make it as easy as possible for the shopper to buy it and everybody wins so you know Mm. obviously the retailer wins because they get that sale they then also then hopefully get loyalty, which is a real kind of big thing um, for, for retailers right now. Um, and as a supplier, obviously you win because you get that sale, but you also build credibility mm. um, with the retailer and um, it enables you to position yourself as a kind of a long-term business partner. Um, because what you can do if you're really good with it is you're able to say, right, we've helped you sell um, more cheese actually what we can do is we can use those principles and we can help you sell um uh more butter and more spreads or maybe even use those principles <clears> in <throat> packaged grocery so we can use it to sell more crisps yeah. and that helps um integrate you more fully as a supplier into the retailer um yeah. which is something that is going forward will get um even more important 